Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Rilo. This is a camera designed and developed and sold by a startup based out of California. In fact, they reached out to me. They were curious as to whether or not I would be interested in reviewing their product. And once I took a look at it, saw sample footage, I said, send it over. And that's because it is innovative, which is what I'm always looking for. And I do think that it is a lifestyle product that will appeal to many of you out there. So essentially at $499, which is, yes, a steep price, but uh, Rilo really trying to differentiate themselves from any other cam of this uh, type on the market, which is a dual uh, lens camera you'll see in a moment. Uh, with its own, uh, from what I've seen, very well done software. You do have to select whether or not you want the iOS or Android version. I'll include both a link to Rilo's own web store as well as Amazon. Those are the only two places that you can pick up a Rilo presently. And it's been on the market for a while now, not too long, so it's still fresh. And essentially, this little gizmo, this tiny camera, I'll just give you the rundown of what's in the box and the tech, uh, you can see right here we've got dual wide angle lenses uh, both are 4k well they combine to give you 360 degree 4k spherical videos 6k panorama photos it has an aluminum alloy body an oled uh, status display you know i love my oleds an expandable sd storage slot and then in the box we're getting the rilo the battery pack the USB charge cable, the micro USB and type C sync cables, protective pouch and a micro SD card. Rilo is also currently throwing in, for those of you that are jumping in to purchase right now, their everyday case, which I think is a necessity if you're picking this up. I will get to that a little bit later. So with that said, let me go ahead and just surgically, which of course is a farce in my world. Uh, crack this open without cracking myself. As I say that, oh, so close. I feel like people who watch these unboxings are just waiting for me to slice my hand open. I think I got one side of the Rilo. Let's see. Yes, that is one. And uh, they actually also, on the 19th of April, uh, just did a firmware update, which I, of course, will be running. Three improvements to this uh, piece of gear. It will now permit you to, let's see if I'm able to get this out this way, I am. Uh, it now offers the ability, if you're only using one of the two lenses, improved video quality with that single lens. And then in addition to that, uh, they now have remote uh, Bluetooth sync capability. So you can take a shot, I believe, um, with your phone remotely. And then lastly, blurred time lapse. So here is the packaging. I think done well so far. I really like what I'm seeing. And there is the Rilo. It's cute. What can I tell you? It's an adorable little camera. Now, is it perfect for everyone? No camera is. But again, as I mentioned, I think this is a lifestyle camera. And if it accomplishes what you're looking to do, you're going to probably love it. And I'm saying that based on the footage I've seen. Let me go ahead and put this aside for a second. I will come back to it. I wanna show you what else is in the box. We also have some promotion of from Rilo directly about the magic being in the software. And that's something I wanted to talk about. Uh, the software that Rilo has developed for this camera is its own suite of video editing, everything. So. Uh, as they say, to get started, connect it, uh, connect the sync cable from Rilo to your phone. Again, you better have selected the right uh, OS. If you bought the iOS version or the Android version thinking it was cross-compatible, it is not, uh, which I was surprised to find out, but just be aware. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that at the top of the video. Uh, this is, from what I understand, you can't really edit video from this with traditional video editing software, if I'm incorrect, I stand to be corrected. Uh, but as far as I know, it's all about the software they've built for this as well, which I think is both a good thing and a questionable thing. Uh, but we'll see. Again, that's why I call it a lifestyle product because I think there are some people this will incredibly appeal to who don't want to get into video editing software. So for all of those people that are like, hey, I want to edit this in whatever their suite is, um, 
this isn't the right product for you. That's obvious, unless you're just in love with, with what Rylo's put together. So we've got the carry pouch right here, which seems well-made, neoprene, uh, just all nicely done, as you would expect. We've got the sync cable right here. We then have the charge cable. And then we have a battery pack. Now, this is what I have a feeling we're going to need more than one of. Uh, Rilo only included one. I'm not complaining, but I have a feeling we're going to need more than one. We're going to need a bigger boat. But we'll see. I, I don't know the exact runtime on this, capture time. And then we've got a sync cable, uh, another sync cable, but I believe this is, I was going to say it's Type C, but it is not. It is micro USB. So, uh, essentially that's it. This was our type C for those of you that were wondering micro USB to type C because the Rilo is based around a micro USB port. So with that packaging out of the way, let's focus on the Rilo. So I haven't popped in the battery, but I'm going to be doing follow-ups on this. Do not worry as well as video samples, all of that good stuff. You can see immediately we've got move more of this stuff. So we're only in focus on what's in the hands. Uh, the OLED readout right here, which is going to give you all your vital stats um, in terms of battery life, uh, shutter count, I believe, all of those things. Uh, and then we have our micro USB port right there for charging. Um, we also have, of course, the other wide angle camera. And what was really unique about this is that while you're filming with the everyday case, which I'm going to pop out soon, you within the software at any moment can look around and use that as your viewing angle. So it does really give you 360 degrees of flexibility, which from a creative standpoint is great. Now, of course, Rilo's not the first to try to do this, but they may be the best at doing it. And part of their bragging right is the stabilization that they employ, which I'm looking forward to putting through the paces because if it is as good as they say, then it's gonna be very interesting. Um, right here we have the battery bay door, very easy to open with that button. In fact, I will pop in the battery, why not? Let's see right now if we actually have a functioning device. Let's see if the battery has a charge. Shutter button up at the top. And again, it's just, at least it appears to be all well-made and just an adorable camera. Now, like I said earlier, not for everyone. I'm not going to pitch it as such. First power on. Hopefully you can see there. We have 34 minutes of battery life uh, available. And that is it. Um, it's telling us we have over 5,000 stills. The SD card, I'm assuming, is already inserted. 34 minutes of video time. So that's the runtime on video. Now I did not see the, the micro SD card. I was fooled. Let's see if it's in there. Did I get fooled? It's possible because I see another switch here, but I have a feeling that's the switching mechanism for that. So I may have been fooled. But all those things aside, let's go ahead and look at the everyday case. You can see the microphone over array right there. Um, audio quality on something like this, I'm not really too curious about. Um, it's really more about the video quality. And there you go. Right now, I'm actually shooting a 360-degree uh, video using the Rilo while... Oh, I'm not even on camera. I just realized. While uh, doing the unboxing. So we'll see what this ends up looking like. I've seen a lot of samples, and they all look fairly good to me. Um, I'm going ahead and just panning the studio, which... None of you really want to see right now because it is still under construction, but still a very cool device it appears and I can't wait to get it outside and get it going. Uh, possibly I may ask Rilo to send me, they also have an, an adventure um, enclosure for this uh, so that you can, can't take this scuba diving, which I spoke to their PR contact about initially, but with that adventure uh, enclosure, you can go about 10 feet, and I may get a chance to do some diving with whale sharks. 
That's part of one of my trips, possibly. We'll see. And if that is the case, then I assure all of you, the Rilo will probably make that trip underwater with me uh, rather than just my RX100 Mark V and A6500 from Sony. Uh, here is the everyday case, which essentially is a housing for the Rilo. And, you know, the fact that I, sh I was going to say that I don't need to read any instructions in order to get this open, which is the truth. Look at that. Not bragging. Um, speak is, is kind of a testament to usability. And again, the lifestyle uh, element of the product. Now, of course, the shutter button is there. So the orientation is going to need to be like this. Dropping this in. We're, of course, doing this instruction free. You know me. And let's hopefully not break anything. How does that? I should have paid attention, shouldn't I? Yeah, that doesn't look like it's snapping in. I spoke too soon, folks. I spoke too soon. I was going to say, easy peasy. But um, I think that is it. Yeah, that is it. So the easy conclusion was the solution. And then out comes the actual um, stick, if you will, to mount it on. Um, so essentially, from what I gather, I'm going to have to unscrew this and just get this on there, which uh, should be fairly simple. Let's see. Lefty Lucy, if I'm doing this correctly. This is where you probably should read directions, folks. Um for those of you who are interested in them. In fact, I'm going to stop now because I think this can go on as is, and I'm doing things out of order, which would not surprise me. Yep, it appears to be getting in there. I may be going the wrong way. Let's see. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. Okay. Okay not lined up at all now I am and now it seems like we're perfectly lined up in comes the piece that I was trying to use to loosen that for God knows what reason um, just tighten that up if I'm going through it looks like I am and there you have it so the everyday case is really just a matter of do you want to have the ability to hold the Rilo while operating it, which I think is a great idea. I mean, holding it the way I was before, not a great idea. Uh, you're making contact with the body. You're possibly getting in front of the uh, dual lens system. You really don't want to do that. But, you know, think of what Samsung has done uh, LG has done, and then think of someone actually putting thought into it rather than just pushing something out for holiday season and phone launches. And that's what I think Rilo really has done here. It's part of the reason that, as I said earlier, when they contacted me, I said, send it over. Uh, little lanyard for a wrist strap. And I think that is everything that comes in the everyday case. Now, again, the everyday case is free right now. Um, it is generally sold separately. But there you have it. Again, um, I will be testing this out thoroughly. I'm interested in that stabilization. I'm interested in that firmware update that I mentioned earlier. Uh, do I see this appealing to professional photographers? For fun, I do. Uh, but for those of you that you know love to have something your phone cannot do um, in very good quality, great stabilization, um, and really unlike anything else from what I've seen with what Rilo again has done on the software side uh, and that's what I'm really excited to play with because I've already played with enough 360 degree uh, cameras it's that the software side has been so bad so if Rilo has gotten that right then they've really done themselves and all of us a service here with their latest uh, and greatest and first product to my knowledge I believe they're based out of San Francisco, uh, and again, here on the back of the box, something I didn't show you, uh, cinematic stabilization. That will be something I'll be testing out. Uh, single tap directing. So you have the ability to just 
uh, as they put it, create videos you'll be proud of with powerful, simple, and intuitive editing tools right from your phone, and then shoot and share. That's what this is really all about. You know, you've got immersive 360 degree 4K videos, and with the Rilo app, you can directly share that to probably any platform out there. And that's the pitch. You know, you've got a fully, uh, in a way, self aware uh, media sharing experience tool, which can't really be said of anything else on the market. And I think that's what they were trying to develop. And it seems like they've done a really good job. Granted, that's without me actually taking it in the field and putting it through the paces. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, links will be in the description for both Rilo and Amazon if you you know are inclined to pick one of these up. And I will be doing uh, follow-up videos on this product as well. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, hit that like button and please feel free to subscribe. Later.